But the key thing is as far as, as our exhibition here. This is something that I really love because I've always been interested in the fact that um, there are two sides to every human being, um, hopefully, that they have a response that is analytical to the world around them, trying to understand things, gathering data and so on, but also a felt response. Uh, the feeling, what does it mean to us to actually connect with someone of 3,700 years ago? It really affects us deep inside. So how do you express that? Well, archaeologists are hopeless in expressing that. They can only record things in plans on bits of paper and so on, and measurements and so on. But we need artists like Teresa to see new ways of, or to, to explore new ways of seeing what we've already observed, but haven't really necessarily seen in the, in the, the best way. Uh, so I've, uh, again, I, I happen to work for an organization called Common Ground for a number of years and in, uh, in, the, in the 1980s. And we were absolutely focused on trying to marry these two elements, the analytical and felt response to our environment together, so, which is why I'm so delighted to be standing here in front of these lovely, lovely uh, artworks. But, so we can enjoy these artworks for what they are, but there's a very special thing here, I expect some of you may have seen it. I'm absolutely amazed by this, this letter written by Angela Thurlow as um, from the, the young woman buried in this grave to, to each of us. And there's such lovely things in here. Um, she, she writes, we will have both loved this place. And she writes, I am you and you are me. And this, the, the 4,000 years, the 4,000 summers that you mentioned, one of the titles I think of your works, fall away, and it's not so long ago. Actually, for, it's only four, when you think of the trillions, the, the sort of uh, the, the huge mathematical uh, numbers that are uh, just thrown around by politicians and others. But just 4,000 summers, 4,000 harvests gathered in. That is when that woman was there. But I think she's captured something very special. Um, so that's a great contribution. But we didn't need that. That's, a, that's the icing on the cake because we've got Teresa's work here, which I think is absolutely splendid, and captures the essence. She's obviously, I mean, so, so deeply, uh, she's obviously deeply immersed herself in the, in the very um, essence of, the, of what's being found at Whitehall, sort of the place. Uh, it's, it's brilliant. So congratulations, Teresa, and I'm absolutely delighted to uh, I'm very grateful to you for inviting me to open this exhibition. Okay. So I declare it open. Thank you. Thank you.